launched here in Brussels, Belgium, originally coming from Frankfurt, but we thought in the European capital it is of even greater importance to stand up for Europe, to stand up for democracy, for the rule of law instead of totalitarianism and nationalism growing. It is time that we say that Europe is something positive, that we go to the streets and don't leave it to the politicians themselves or to the institutions. No, each individual has to stand up against populism rising in Europe and national elections coming up to say that we stand for Europe. Okay. Uh, today, one of the speakers said that uh, the parts of Europe that we have to make Europe popular again. How can you make Europe popular when in a lot of countries it is associated with austerity and uh, neoliberalism? I think to make Europe popular again, of course, doesn't mean that we ignore the, the, the weaknesses that might be in some countries and, and the corrections we have to do. Of course, Europe is not perfect as it stands, but that is why it is important to work on it, to get it workable for everybody, to make it a, a solidarity achievement where people can earn their living, where they have decent living. So it's not said that it is all good as is. No, we have a European Union that we can reform, that we can change, but that should be with the people. So it is to make people come and contribute to making this Europe a Europe which works for them. Are you linked anyhow to the European institutions? I'm working in the European Parliament, but I'm here as a person and, and I'm engaged on a personal level for Pulse of Europe. And what about Pulse of Europe? Is it linked to the European institutions? Pulse of Europe is not linked to the European institutions. It's a, it's a free organization, cross-party or independent of, of party politics. But of course everybody, parties, individuals, institutions, is and free to join and we, we welcome this togetherness. What are your plans for the next weeks and months? So next week we will be in Rome to, for the March for Europe which happens on the 25th in Rome and then the week after we will be back in Brussels for our Brussels, Pulse of Europe in Belgium event. Okay and on the long run in 2017 what are your plans? In 2017, we will be on the streets every Sunday, ahead of the elections, together with hopefully more and more people. Pulse of Europe is now all over Europe, as I understand, between uh, uh, 25,000 people going to the streets simultaneously every Sunday at 2 o'clock. So that is our wish, that we have even more people also here in Brussels to go to the streets together with us. Thank you.